Check, he said that we mentioned about this issue that we're dealing with, that it is an issue in which is the protection of the i'tiqad and what we believe in the theology. And that one of the connections of this overall issue of aqidah is the most important issue of the tawheed. And specifically the tawheed of Allah's names and attributes. So everybody knows that the tawheed that we believe in, there are three categories. And he very briefly said the first category being tawheed al-uluhiya. The oneness of Allah in the right to be worshipped. That the one who is going to be worshipped in the haq is Allah. He is the ma'bud with haq. So we don't ask anyone other than Allah. We don't make istighatha and seek help and intercession from anyone other than Allah. The second form of a tawheed is the tawheed of Allah's rububiyah. And that is understanding the belief that Allah is unique and that he is the khaliq and he is the raziq, the one who created, the one who provides, the one who gives life, the one who gives death. And then the third one is a tawheed of Allah's names and his attributes. And what does that mean? That is that Allah, we establish for him what he established for himself in the names, in the way of the names and attributes, and we establish what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has made it thabat in Allah's Prophet described for Allah and his Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And to show the importance of this issue is the fact that if anybody here were to look and to consider and focus and concentrate on the first surah of the Quran, Surah Al Fatiha, and then you were to look at the last surah of the Quran, Surah Al-Nas, if you were to consider both of these surahs in their totality, you will see clearly that both of those surahs talk about all three categories of a tawheed. And that in and of itself, the person can see, shows that it's important. And right now, it's no need, because it's so clear and important, so no need for any getting into a very deep discussion about it. For